Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 5 of Direwolf20's Let's Play. Uh, just cooking up some uh, dusts and uh, smelting my dust into bars. I have a lot of backlog of uh, materials in here that need to be macerated and smelted, so I'm kind of working on that a little bit. But of course, I'm not going to sit here on camera and just do all that. Uh, I'm going to let all that stuff run that's going right now, and maybe run back down into my mining caves for a few should probably clean up this little big old mess here that the creeper left for me. Yeah, maybe I'll do that off camera for a minute or two. And uh, I also need to up my uh, reed production because there's some stuff I want to get going soon with Thomcraft, and I'm going to need a lot of books for that. So how about I get started cleaning up the messes, and uh, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, you can see me just doing a little bit of macerating here and, uh, you know, cooking up some good stuff. Uh, I've been just working on that for a little bit, and uh, I'm going to take a little break from it because my internal storage of energy here is getting awfully low. As you can see, my bat box is pretty low. It's going to run out in a bit, and uh, these uh, processes are going to start slowing down. So while I'm letting that go, I want to grab some more dirt, and I'm thinking I want to set up a little bit of a nicer reed farm. So if I grab some dirt here, get my reeds, and I'm going to need some buckets of water, so maybe something along these lines. That looks good. Not sure I'm going to need a lot of dirt, but let's go outside and check out what we can do. Now, um, in Thalmcraft, there is a bunch of research you need to do to get a majority of your items. And uh, for that research, it's best to have a lot of uh, bookcases nearby. Almost the same way you'd want to have research for enchanting your items in vanilla Minecraft. So that's where this reed farm is going to come in for me. I picked up all the reeds that I had sitting over there earlier in the game. And, uh, oh yeah, look at all this wood just hanging out here. Clean that up. Looks like it's starting to get dark as I've been uh, smelting and macerating all day, but that's okay. There we go. Cool. I'll just tidy up this area a little bit. And what I'm thinking is something like this. That ought to be a good start now here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the old uh, infinite water trick. Not really a trick per se, just uh, standard mechanics in Minecraft for water. This will get me an uh, infinite water source running all the way down there. Awesome. And just getting dark. That's all right. There we go. Much better. And just plant some reeds up, let them grow. Like I said, going to need a good amount of uh, reeds. I'm probably going to automate this at some point, but for now, just let them sit there and grow. I'll come back and check on them in a bit. I'm going to sleep through the night and then head down to mine for a little bit. And this time I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Now, spelunking, which I've been doing for a little bit now, is a great way to mine, of course. Uh, it's really nice because you find a lot of resources. Um, but this time I'm going to go straight down to Y level 10 because I'm specifically hunting for diamonds. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to find some down there. Found some cinnabar, so that's nice. And uh, I've got my handy divining rod which will definitely be useful in finding diamonds, I hope. More iron, which is good. Uh, Industrial Craft uses a lot of iron, as you guys may have noticed already. So uh, iron is something you're always going to want to grab whenever you find it. Where am I at now? 20? Okay, not bad. And my backpacks, of course, doing their job perfectly. Uh, almost none of the things I'm collecting right now are going into my inventory of my player. So that, I just, I don't know. That's something really cool to me. I think that's awesome. All right, where are we at now? 15? All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, hanging around Y level 10 now, looking like a good spot to be. I'm going to start using my divining rod a little bit and hope that I can find in the medium range area, some nice diamonds. I'm just going to mine straight forward for now, and then I'll branch off of this uh, direct line in a little bit. And like I said, don't do too much mining on camera typically, so I'll come back when and if I find anything nice. And speaking of finding something nice, right at the base of my little cave here, I started uh, poking around with the divining rod, and in this direction I found a value of 8,000. Ta-da! Diamonds. Woot! 
See? Always nice to come down here to Y level 10. You're uh, definitely going to find some. The Divining Rod obviously helping a lot to track them down. Awesome. Really happy to find diamonds there. And a little bit of uranium, too. And some tin. Sweet. All right. Now I got some diamonds. I'm going to mine for a little bit longer because uh, I'm going to see if I can't find a few more. And then I'll meet you guys back upstairs once I've uh, finished this little mining expedition that I started. And another set of diamonds. Or at least one, maybe. Only one? Aw. Oh, come on. I wanted more than that. Fail. Looks like some gold off in that direction. All right, cool. And some more crystals. Nice. Ooh, nice looking little bit of lava there, too. And another diamond sighting, thanks to my nifty and handy little divining rod here. Found myself some more crystals. That's nice. And, uh, hey, there we go, diamonds. Woot. Oh, come on. That's all right. I got myself a crafting table in here, don't I? No? All right. Better make one. And I did find some sapphires. Good reason to always carry at least some wood with you when you go mining. Both for torches and for sapphires and converting them into pickaxes if yours break. Sweet. All right, I'm going to head back upstairs now, um, try and divine along the way, see if I get anything good. But for the most part, I'll probably just meet you guys upstairs, um, ready to do some stuff. All right, I'll be right back. And I'm just getting out of the cave there. Nice, lovely day outside. Let's run back and see how we made out in that little mining expedition. So I like to go spelunking if I'm looking for just random ores and whatever I can find. But uh, if you're looking for something specific like diamond, doing that little branch mining, of course, is the best way to go when you're using the divining rod. I came back from that little expedition with 22 diamond. Not bad. Now, yeah, I did a good amount of mining off camera there. So uh, it's not like, uh, you know, just instantly found 22 diamonds. But uh, hey, dude. 22 diamonds is a lot. I'm not going to complain at all. Uh, got a bunch of more ores, and it looks like I'm going to have to start dealing with uh, more macerators and uh, some more electric furnaces here, because we've got a lot more to do, and uh, going to need some more power generation as well while we're at it, definitely. So how about I clean up my inventory, and I'll be back once I'm ready to start building. All right, one of the first things I'm going to want is a little bit more power generation. And for that, I'm going to need to get up on the roof of my house. So might as well, for now, go ahead and build a ladder that leads up there. Cool. And uh, now that I've got that set up, I'm going to need some more of those tin wires. And I'm going to need, I don't know, a couple... Uh, more solar panels. I've already got the iron that's going to be required for the solar panels cooking up. There we are. And I've got the uh, macerator working on a few more pieces of coal dust for me. I'm going to build three more solar panels. And since you've already seen that, I'm going to do it off camera. But uh, just rest assured that I've got all the resources I need right now to handle that. All right, just getting back and crafting up the last of the items I need for the solar panel. There we go, three of them. And I've got my ultra low current cable here ready to go. Let me just drop off all the excess junk that I don't need at the moment. There we go. Ladder can go in that miscellaneous junk chest. So what I'll do is uh, sleep through the night, because it's probably scary and monstery out there. And I'll jump up on the roof and attach the solar panels. So yeah, lots of monsters. You can't get me now. Ha <laughs> ha. Easiest way to kill monsters is to take a nap. All right, three more solar panels. Total of six now. Filling up that bat box and uh, keeping a good amount of energy supplied inside the uh, machines that need it. Cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. We were starting to run low. Good timing to get that up there. Now note, do I hear an Enderman? Yeah, I do. I hear one. I got to go kill him. Me and Enderman, we got a history. And uh, even though it's daytime, there he is. What's up, buddy? Oh, come on, don't run away. He knew I was gunning for him. Me and Enderman, we are not friends. Eh, don't need zombie meat. 
All right, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, perfect timing to get that uh, solar panels up there because I was running awfully low in my bat box. Uh, you can see it's still struggling a little bit. Oh yeah, no, we're good. We've got plenty of power. We just needed uh, more resources to smelt and macerate. So I'll take care of those and I will be back in just a moment to uh, start building something. All right, the next item I want to craft here is going to require a few pieces of tin and some redstone. This is the first item that I always craft whenever I get my first three diamonds. Uh, anybody who's seen my series before knows exactly what I'm going after, and if you haven't, that's okay. You're about to see. Uh, I'm going to need uh, some batteries, and I'm going to need one of these nice fancy electronic circuits. There we go. And I'm going to need five pieces of refined iron right there that I cooked up. And let's see if I can remember this recipe. Something like this. There we go. I got myself a mining drill. Wheat. Meet the dentist. Nice. Uh, mining drills will chop through dirt and... Uh, grass and stone and ores and everything just as fast as probably about a mining uh, an iron pickaxe but if we take three diamonds like i said the first three diamonds always go towards my mining drill and place them like so around it we've got a diamond tipped mining drill hooray i'm gonna throw my sapphire pickaxe in one of my chests for the time being uh, along with any other items i don't need on me right now probably also get rid of this current cable Cool. Uh, the diamond drill, instead of having a durability loss, has an energy loss. There's an internal battery in there. That's why there was a battery in the recipe. And you just place it in your bat box, and it'll drain the energy out of the bat box. You can see it quickly draining and filling up the internal capacitor of the drill. Now, that was another reason I needed some more power generation. Um, I wanted to be able to recharge my drill nice and quick. So now that I can do that, hooray! And the first thing I'm going to do with the diamond drill is uh, get something that will help me a little bit more in the future. Plus, I want to be able to generate some more energy a little bit faster and easier. So you can see the uh, filling up of the diamond drill there really drained uh, the capacitor and the macerator because it was working while this bat box was busy. And you can see my electric furnace here barely able to struggle along. But don't worry, those solar panels can take care of it. So one of the things I want to get next is this stuff. Play. I'm probably going to need a decent amount, not a ton, but uh, well, we'll see how much we get, right? And I'll clean up this clay area just a little bit. Let's get out of the water before I drown. Cool. Me and water. So you can see how quickly I can dig through stuff, but the internal capacitor on the drill doesn't really hold all that much energy. So on the negative side of that fence, we're going to have to realize, all right, we need to recharge this thing relatively often. But um, pretty much a diamond drill or diamond pickaxe that never gets any uh, durability loss and you'll never have to replace it, sign me up. All right, I will be back in a minute once I've cooked up all this clay that I collected, and it probably landed in my digger's backpack. Yeah, it did. Just going to cook up a stack. Don't mind me. All right, while that stuff's cooking up, I'm going to go visit my little kind of sad and pathetic farm that I have over here, but let's go ahead and harvest up some wheat. Cool. I'm going to replant some seeds there and let some more wheat grow, and uh, might as well plant here as well. I will expand this farm in the future, probably pretty soon, but for now, the first thing I want to do is expand my pigs. Haha. <laughs> Enjoy that, guys. Yum. Delicious baby pig. I should find some cows at some point, too. And it's getting dark. Uh, I think my next trip should probably be into the nether. I think that's a good choice. Uh, I'm going to need some obsidian, aren't I? Definitely. And there's actually another item I want to craft, too, now that I got some diamonds. So maybe uh, let me go get some obsidian. There's going to be a decent amount that I need. That's why I'm going to bring some water buckets with me. I know there's a few lava lakes that I found downstairs earlier, and I'm going to go investigate those. So I'll meet you guys down in my mining cave in just a moment as I run past all these zombies and whatnot. So I'm kind of running around here a little bit, and I'm hearing all these slime sounds. I'm trying to figure out where they're coming from. Found a very nice set of marble. Uh, might want to dig that out a bit in the future, but meh. I should probably head back and do the thing that I came down here to do. 
uh, which was find obsidian. So I'll uh, head back the way I came and maybe come back and figure out where those slimes are at in a bit. Alright, so here we go. Nice little obsidian lake, uh, or lava lake that's now an obsidian lake, I guess. Uh, what I like to do to mine obsidian is first off just find a nice spot to start digging at. So I'm going to pick this one right here. Perfect. And I place the uh, water source block in the spot where I start mining. And then I just sit here and mine for a moment. And the water source block will push me forward and it will also cover up any uh, lava that might be underneath the block in front of me. So I don't have anything to worry about both in terms of losing the obsidian that I'm mining and in terms of uh, you know getting pushed into lava. So just be careful and remember that water source blocks will only push out about eight blocks forward. So if you mine any more than eight blocks, you might not um, you might get pushed into lava. So just be careful of that. But uh, for the most part, this is a very safe way to mine obsidian. And uh, obsidian more mining is probably the most boring of mining. So I'll be back after I've collected a decent amount of it. And I think that's a pretty good start. Got myself about 30 obsidian in my bag there, so I will be back once I get back upstairs. Hey, I did find that slime eventually. I decided to just kind of dig my way around, and there he was. Sorry, Buster. I need, uh, I need slime. Well, I don't really need it anymore. I got a good amount from the last guy I found, but, you know, I can't just leave you sitting there. That wouldn't be nice. Is there another one I missed? Eh, beats me. Oh yeah, and you guys might have noticed that my mining speed has significantly decreased. Uh, that's because my drill is pretty much out of energy. So you can see here's uh, where I dug and found my way up to the slime. Looks like there was another one up there somewhere, but being out of uh, drill energy, I need to head back. Alright, looks like uh, my macerator is still running. going to drain some energy out of there. That thing's almost done anyway. And, uh, ooh, brick furnace is done. Cool. Uh, gonna wait for my diamond drill to fill up all the way. Probably drop off some of the junk that I've collected downstairs. So let's drop off in my miscellaneous junk chest here. That looks good. And I think my miner's backpack is where I stored all my junk, right? Yep. Cool. Uh, so I've got some obsidian now, which is perfect. Uh, I'm going to put the zombie brain away in a bit. Uh, what I want to get right now is an item that I wouldn't say is controversial, but a couple people do comment, hey, that, 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 that item you're about to make is a little overpowered in survival mode, isn't it, Direwolf? To that I say, yes. Yes, it is overpowered in survival mode, but it's such a fun item, and it's one of my favorites, so I can't resist not using it. Uh, I, I need to use this item. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it's so cool and so fun. Time for me to build something neat. I'll be right back. You know what? The recipe changed and I need one more item that I haven't collected yet. So you're going to have to wait for that overpowered item that I wanted to craft. Instead, I think it's time for me to go to the nether. So why don't I get myself a piece of iron here and a piece of flint and probably go find a nice spot to build a nether portal. Not quite sure where I'd like to do that. What's up, Wisp? Flying around. Uh, probably somewhere nearby, but uh, not right next to my base. Drop off my uh, zombie brain while I'm here and craft up my flint and tinder. How's this little uh, thalmcraft room doing anyway? Probably nothing exciting happening. I should get a few more crystals in here into my condenser. You can see I got some more depleted crystals. And being that it's a full moon, it might be the best time to do it. So yeah, why don't I do that? I'm going to go grab at least two crystals and throw them into my uh, condenser and maybe even start on some research after I get back from the nether. But I do want to go pick up some glowstone. Uh, so I'll grab a couple earthen crystals, uh, maybe just two. Should be good for now. Yep, so heading off to the nether. Woot. A little nervous about that. Don't really have much in the way of armor just yet. I should probably craft up a bit of armor before I head in there, but eh, let's uh, head down to the nether, see what kind of trouble we get into, and maybe we'll find a nice place to... Uh, you know, get some glowstone and then get out of there. So where should I craft this nether portal? Maybe right past all my farms inside my volcano here? Ooh, that might be cool. That actually might be really cool. Let's dig our way into this little volcano area and see if we can't find a nice spot to call home for our nether portal. So I'll dig out a little area and be right back. All right, just past my pig farm here, I've got this little double entrance doorway, and this is where I'm going to build my nether portal, I think. 
something along these lines right here and then uh, straight up here let's light it up hooray another portal uh, maybe I could even get some smooth stone and get some half blocks there to uh, build it up so I'll go jump through that portal in a moment let me make sure I have everything in my inventory sorted out I don't have anything I don't want to bring with me Probably leave my uh, obsidian I'll bring the obsidian with me just in case and uh, do I have any smooth stone back here I should yeah I do cool just a few half bricks uh, you know half slab things looking good and then what I'm gonna do for now is probably cover up my nether portal entrance with these basalt bricks and uh, I'll have some kind of cool door thing to make in the future there's a couple neat different ways I want to use uh, entrances and exits for areas and ooh, it's getting dark maybe I don't want to jump through the nether just yet I'm gonna wait for nighttime because there are uh, I need some ender pearls yeah that's what I need and uh, endermen they spawn at night so I'm gonna go uh, wait for them and I'll be back once it's nighttime and I'm ready to fight all right, seeing as I'm about to fight some Endermen here, I'm going to grab some bronze. I'm going to need about, oh, I don't know, that much of it. And bronze you can make armor out of. Um, I don't think it's quite as good as iron. Uh, I might be wrong about that. But, you know, should be good to get me started dealing with these Endermen. Uh, I needed one or two more pieces for a breastplate, but I think I'm good for now. I'll just wear this one, and uh, we'll see how I do. This will at least protect me a little bit from the damage I might incur. Remember, I'm on hard mode here, and uh, I haven't played too much around in hard mode, so uh, might be an exciting adventure. Let's go see what happens. It should be sufficiently dark out, and I'm going to run straight out here and see what I can't find. A bunch of creepers in the distance. Not exactly the type of mobs I'm looking for. Nice little wisp flying around there, but Enderman is really what I need. Because I need some Ender Pearls. So, what do we got? Hmm. Bunch of bad guys over there. You can see some beehives in the distance, too. I should get into beekeeping eventually. Slash relatively soon. How can your sheep just sit there and eat at a time like this? Endermen and zombies and skeletons and what do we got over in this direction maybe something cool and hopefully this is all right to see on YouTube remember I do have my brightness turned up all the way as high as it can be specifically for this purpose I should probably have another sword with me ha can't hurt basalt that much mr. creeper that's one of the nice things about basalt the latest changes to red power 2 or that uh, they improved the uh, LRM improved the explosion resistance of basalt. So uh, it was already a little weak before. So improving that resistance to explosion was kind of cool. Might not be a bad idea to uh, get my house made out of basalt rather than cobblestone. So that if I do have any creeper troubles nearby, you know, we'll be all right. It's off in this direction. I don't think I've even explored this far out yet. I'm kind of waiting to really start exploring around my house. I don't want to explore too much too far just yet. Is there an Enderman right there? What's up, buddy? Nice thing about the Enderman is if you look at them, they'll come right to you. And then you can kill them. Hey, how's it going? I'm attacking your feet, because that kind of helps prevent you from teleporting. And you did not give me a pearl, you jerk. I do not like you, Mr. Enderman. I need more food. Not good. What else do I have here food-wise? Nothing. Well, I better go find some food, and luckily I do know a uh, spot where I can get a couple of pigs. Maybe I should look into mushroom soup, too. I'm going to need some of the red mushrooms, but uh, that's all right. I can probably manage that. Creepers are creeping. Running, because I don't know what that sound is behind me. Zombie! Alright, sorry pigs, I gotta kill one of you. Or two, because you didn't feel like dropping any meat. Hey, get away from there. They're trying to escape. 
Creeper. I'll get that pig put back where he belongs in a minute. I'm gonna cook up some food. I'll be right back. Oh, much better. Now at least I can refill my health when I need to. I gotta stop running all over the place, but I don't know. I like running. What's in here? Do I have any red mushrooms? Oh, you know what? I had apples on me. Yeah, I can carry those along too. I'll have to get that uh, stupid pig back where he belongs. Where'd the creeper go? That's not a good sign. Where'd the pig go? Is he hanging out in here? Yeah, he is. What's up, pig? <laughs> nice. All right. Looking for ender pearls. Thus far, no luck. What I should get is, hey, there's a creeper. Thank you. I think my pig got out. All right, I'm gonna look around a little bit and I'll come back when I find an Enderman to fight. The thing about Endermen is that more and more mods are starting to use Ender Pearls, and they're so rare to spawn in the first place, it's starting to get tricky to find them. But, uh, you know, thus far, I think I've managed to go this whole night only seeing the one, and he didn't even drop an Ender Pearl for me. So, trouble. Oop, there's one. Hey, buddy. Come on, look over this way. Got your attention yet? All right, now teleport to me. You can see why I hate them. Ooh, there's another one. Come on. Get back here. Still night time, technically. Nice, Ender Pearl is mine. I saw that. Now, is that other guy still up here? Or did he uh, hurry and run away because of the night time? Nope, he's there. Hey, how's it going? Don't move. Darn it. I think the day scared him off. Yeah, look at that. It's daytime officially. Skeleton's getting killed. There he is. Come on, I want one more Ender Pearl. Just one. All right, I'll meet you guys back in my house now that I've got an ender pearl. Woot, overpowered item time. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this pig lured back to my little cave here. And uh, the best way to do that, I think, is to quick grow some wheat. What am I, out of inventory space already? I will drop this dirt in here. All right, pig, you're coming back to the pen. Come on, mister. All right, guys, so what awesome item am I gonna craft with a diamond, an ender pearl, a couple obsidian, and some iron? Well, that's a good question. I'm going to craft a portal gun. Woot! Uh, portal gun's a really fun mod. I think it was originally created for uh, creative maps, for creating some really fun, interesting maps. But uh, I like using it in survival mode. It's a nice little toy for just getting around quickly. And it also helps, especially doing a Let's Play, because, uh, you know, traveling is boring sometimes. You guys don't want to see me walking around for 20 minutes. And uh, sure, I can cut the camera out, but might as well save myself the time as well. Uh, simply aim your portal gun anywhere and hit the left mouse button to fire the blue portal. And hit the right mouse button to fire the orange portal. And you can see your character standing over there with a portal gun, and I can look over at myself and say, hey, how's it going? Why do you have just a Steve skin, direwolf? Awesome. And uh, of course, just walk through the portal. Yoink. And there you go. Awesome. Gotta love it. 
So that is the portal gun, and uh, it doesn't have any durability loss, it doesn't cost any energy. I think that's the thing that makes a lot of people say it's a little bit overpowered. And like I said, is it a little bit overpowered in survival? Sure. But it's a lot of fun, it's a really cool device, and uh, I love the fact that iTunes, the creator here, got it see-through. Because um, that's just awesome. And guys, one last thing I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to grab some of that blue covalence dust that I've got. And if I place that in a crafting table with my sapphire sword, you'll see it repairs it for me. Awesome. So uh, keep that in the back of your mind. That mid-level covalence dust does work on the um, Red Power 2 stuff. And I feel like this is a pretty good wrapping up point for this episode. Um, I did get the nether portal built, but I didn't get there today. So uh, maybe in the next episode, I'll be sure to get to the nether portal. Next on my list also is upgrading this bat box. It's uh, pretty much getting full of energy and then has uh, all the energy collected by my solar panels is being wasted right now. So I need a bigger energy store. That's going to require a few diamonds, but I'm in good shape with those. Uh, uh, so this is Direwolf20 signing off on episode 5 of Direwolf20's Let's Play, episode f uh, season 4. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.